I struggle with with keeping sight of my goals every single day. It, it's hard to even pick out one specific time that I struggled to get back on track because I feel like it's every day. Um, I, I heard once that we teach what we most need to learn. And for me, I constantly feel the pull to get into more, um, you know, to get into the competitive environment as an army officer it's it's very competitive it's very high stress it's very the longer hours you work the better officer you are it's very it's, it's a profession that certainly rewards imbalance at times and so I feel that pull all the time and I consciously have to bring myself back to the other side of balance and there are many days that that does not happen and I'm completely imbalanced and don't take care of myself. I stay up too late, I don't eat well, maybe drink too much, I, I just, I work too many hours or not enough, and every day, you know, my kind of saying, my mantra, whatever you want to call it to myself is begin again, just starting over every day. And I used to be in kind of this, um, struggle between maybe, you know, not not achieving things the way I wanted to, and then I would totally overcorrect and say, well, tomorrow I'm going to go to the other extreme, and I'm going to, you know, start back on my running program and training for a marathon or a race, and I'm going to do a juice fast, and I'm just going to, I'm basically going to punish myself for not doing, you know, for being bad or whatever you want to say these other days. And that is just another form of a roller coaster because after overcorrecting so much, it was just inevitable that you switched back and it, it, it wasn't strengthening anything, it was just a punishment. And so lately, I've, what I found has been most helpful, as, as, you know, as fuzzy as it sounds, is just this idea of radical self-acceptance. So when I have this day that I'm not necessarily proud of, and I didn't um, achieve what I wanted to that day, or I didn't act in alignment with my goals and my values, rather than saying, well, I'm going to you know, punish myself by doing X, Y, and Z, and I'll fix it tomorrow, it's saying, you know what, it's okay, and I still love you exactly the way you are. And the idea of loving yourself, I don't know if that's something anyone even talks about, especially in military circles, but I think that's what it all goes back to, because... If I'm not in this constant fight with myself, thinking that I need to be better or I need to improve, if I can get rid of that struggle and that, you know, maybe self-hatred at times when I don't like the way I did something or I acted or I didn't, the way I didn't do something, it gets away from the roller coaster and it just comes back to the idea that when you can bring some positive energy and acceptance into exactly where you are, then that environment will help you live and act in line with your values. And for me, I found that that is so much more helpful than some, you know, radical punishment or, or new regimen to start something else.